You have no idea what this is. I know what it is, but I don't know the name of it. Cause I'm so you think I'm just wearing it just for the hell of it, huh? Huh? I'm just losing my damn mind today, <laughs> right? I'm just going crazy. Y'all don't see The Walking Dead written on this? Huh? This crazy as cat shit, boy. Don't try to guess it. Let me ask y'all something. Have y'all been smoking dope today? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Are y'all eyes watering? Doesn't get easier the further I run It gets harder to carry the weight of what I've done I am speaking from experience I don't want to run, run, run no more I don't want to run, run, run no more I love you. Seems to me a man can do a lot of things Set on me since the day that I took sides with the sun. Now every morning I go to war with the ghosts who met the night before, just trying to find the grace in my mistakes. These monsters beating down my door, they're hungry for a soul that's one. What's up, YouTube? YouTube? The Walking Dead, Dead is back. Daryl Dixon. Daryl Dixon has his own show. Solo. Okay? Now, his sidekick, Melissa McBride, uh, Carol, is not going to be with him this time. All right? I think she's going to show up in the second season. Now, before y'all get started, before y'all even start typing your comments, I am not a witch doctor. Okay? I'm not trying to conjure up some rain. All right, this is Daryl's old Pancho. All right, so how do we get here? How do we get here? He left on his bike. Did he take Dog with him? Anybody remember? No. I don't think Dog no, was with him. Dog went with him. I don't think Dog was with him. Dog went with him. So you know, at the end, he he told Carol, "I wish he was coming with me." He said he loved Carol for the first time. We yeah. all knew he loved Carol, yeah. but he said it, and I don't think he ever told um. What's his girlfriend name? The deaf girl. Connie. 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 Do you ever tell Connie he love her? No. Huh? No. Probably in Spanish. Probably in Spanish. In Spanish? Yeah. Daryl yeah. barely can damn talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he barely can talk his damn self. So you think Daryl went and told Connie in Spanish when she deaf, mind you, okay? All right? Keep that in mind. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> like she's deaf and Daryl gonna talk some Spanish to Connie what Daryl did sign language boy yeah, right. he did sign language to Connie okay <laughs> he didn't talk Spanish alright <laughs> but anyway he told Carol that he loved her and he wanted Carol to come and you know Carol said this would be good for you so, Daryl went off on his own. Now, how he got in Paris, I don't know. I have no idea. But I put this in subtitles so we can understand, all right? Because, you know, they talk kind of different across seas, all right? So, we're going to have it in subtitles so we can understand everything that's going on, all right? Okay, y'all, this is Daryl Dixon. First episode, bro. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> You all right? Yeah. You still trying to figure out Daryl and Connie? <laughs> how they communicated? Huh? Yeah. Sign language, Brad. <laughs> Sign language. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. 
Okay, y'all, we missed y'all. The Walking Dead Universe, the underdogs are back. Um, shout out to all the reactors out there. We're back. I hope this show be good, better than fear. Uh, I heard Greg Nicotero got a lot to do with this. Y'all know Greg Nicotero is the makeup artist, right? All right, and he directed a lot of Walking Dead episodes. So this should be good, all right? All right. Okay, y'all, this is Daryl Dixon, the first episode, The Walking Dead, Solo. No, y'all. Who tied him to a boat? This is like Castaway. How did he get here? I thought he was on a motorcycle. He was on a motorcycle. I don't know how he got here. He might find Wilson. Walking Dead Castaway. What the hell is he doing? Now what a piss was in that? Like he tied to a boat. Who tied him to the boat? They might do a backstory later on, you know. I'm surprised a shark ain't ate his leg off. Looking for a drink. Drunk that that piss water. Oh, okay. hey, yeah, you go. You don't found some water. Yeah, it's somebody crib. But you know, Daryl ain't a rookie. You know, Daryl OG, so he know what to do. That's one thing about Daryl. We don't got to worry about him doing something stupid, you know? You got some fried fish. He ain't said a word yet, so... I'm just surprised a shark or something ain't ate his leg, his arm. My name's Daryl Dixon. I come from a place called the Commonwealth. Here we go. It's in America. I like the visuals. I went out looking for something. And I, I found was trouble. If I don't make it back, I want him to know I tried. Hell, I'm still trying. You gonna make it back, Daryl. You gotta meet Rick and Morgan. Crossbow. Yeah, he need his crossbow, don't he? Yeah, we ain't seen the intro yet, have we? Wow. They compete with Last of Us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, looks different in the daylight, huh? Oh, something moving. Daryl. Something moving. Oh, uh, shit. It's probably molded to the floor. Oh! Behind you, look behind you. Hey. Yo, it's stretched up. Yo, stretch. Yo, go. Yo, what happened to 
his arm. What was that? It was something dripping on it, or he got scratched. Like, will he get infected? That's acid. So it's some acid that dropped on him? It's all on their hands. What the hell? Yo, look at this intro. What the hell? Yo, that was pretty dope. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Look at all that red smoke going all across through Paris. Yeah. See that? That is dope. So what y'all was saying, that was acid that was on the walker? Yeah. yeah. It was something. I thought the walker scratched him. No, you he know pulled what I'm saying? his arm away. Grab hold of his sleeve. No, no, no Daryl. Yeah, he, he, grab, he grabbed hold of his sleeve. So it pulled, didn't rip his skin? No, uh -huh. he grabbed hold of his sleeve. He just, he just pulled the sleeve off of him. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It burned him. It burned him. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it burned. So it, something it was dripped some, on him. It was some liquid. Uh, it, it was some liquid that dripped on him. But he didn't so I'm it. saying that's not gonna get him infected. I don't. I don't get it. No, no. no. I don't know. He ain't getting. Because you get bit, you get infected, right? Yeah. I don't. All these years, that's how I knew it. Well, if we got to. So he, I know Daryl ain't gonna get infected. But this is the first episode. But I'm shocked that they let him get scratched the first episode. It's but y'all saying it was acid, right? It was some kind of liquid, yeah, was, yeah. but I don't think it was anything that harmful. And ripped it? Yeah. And that's what it was? Yeah. So he didn't touch Daryl? Uh-uh. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> it touched him, though. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, he should be tired all that damn walking and fighting. Yeah, that's a lot of walking that John he got to do stuff on his legs. So oh, wow. yep, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I mean? That liquid. Yeah, that's man. a scratch. Scratch. That's what I was trying to tell y'all. That didn't look right. Now nah, Darren ain't gonna lose his arm. Hell no! <laughs> if they do that, I'll be shocked. He don't have no medicine. He just wrapped it up. Yeah, I think it's like hello or whatever. Yeah, this ain't Spanish. Well, they in Paris, not Mexico. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Hey, you're an American guy. You know, I speak English very good. <laughs> you got medical? We trade you for an apple or a, a, no. a rabbit, no. maybe. Very good, rabbit. No, like rabbit Merci. Merci. Food there. You need to get something on his arm. Not where I came from. Daryl have always been the savage, you know. Yeah. That rabbit do look good, don't it? I'm Maribel. And Guillaume. So maybe we go together, you know. Get somewhere safe, maybe. I. You can help us. We can help you find a way. Hey, hey Yankee. Hey, Yankee. All the time we talk about World War II. The resistance. U.S. GIs uh, fight together. Your country, my country, like friends. You are no friends. We no countries no more, neither. Yo, who's that? Yo! Are they part of this camp? Might be. Ah, toi, Sit down, he said. 
Oh, they no, they they're not part of that camp. They just show up when they're over the top. Yeah, where they come from? They come here all the time. They don't know. They just drove the they just drove the hell up. Let's go! Dow's ear hurt, his arm hurt. <laughs> oh, what the shit are Yo. you doing? Yo! He ain't blind! They lied! Yo! They robbing Dow! Yo! Yo, I thought they was good people! These are nuns. These are extremely re religious people right here. Extreme. You know what I'm saying? My name is Isabella. Isabel. There's no need to be afraid. You're a guest. You had a wound from a boiler. Cauterization is the best way to prevent the spread. For what? A boiler. A burner. So they're used to it over there, right? Yeah, we call them the Zafemi. Acid zombies. Burner is just one kind. Is this place like a convent or something? They burned it pretty good. We're a small community of nuns. Very small now. After 12 years. Well, if she took that off, it's all like it's okay. You're from America? A place called Commonwealth, right? I found your tape recorder. Wow. She read it. She heard How did you come to be in France? That's what I want to know. A bunch of bad decisions. What the hell? What is he got on? Some cans? That's how you break your ankle. God damn, Daryl, Daryl. You know how Daryl don't been through a lot. Yo, hell, boy. Never put much stock in her. God? <clears throat> well, he put stock in you. Lean forward. Father Gabriel loved his place. You, you know that? Good. I forgot about him. Yeah. This scars on your back? Daddy was a smoker. And he beat you your ass. <laughs> You're just done. With us, his orphaned Sir Catherine, Sir Adèle, Sir Elodie, they're afraid of you. I'll be gone soon. <laughs> I like them suspenders. Medieval churches often had weapons rooms. You needed them back then. That makes sense. Is that a crossbow? We trained ourselves to use them, uh, just in case. Is it? Killer nuns, huh? Right. Oh, I thought I well, seen the crossbow. Well, we can defend ourselves if we need to. That's Belgian's office. I don't know. That's why I was wondering. You know how to use that radio? It's been a while since I managed to reach anyone on it. You mind if I give it a try? Sure. Once you get better. How'd you end up here? A bunch of good decisions. <laughs> the Abbey was already being modernized by the time I came. I hope was to convert the land into an agricultural property that would support us, fund our mission. Man, hey. Treating Daryl like a king over there. You know? He, he 
Would you stay? Yeah. I guess you would stay, wouldn't you? <laughs> All them girls. Ain't nobody stupid, Brad. I don't know who that was. How many people do you think live within the boundaries of what was once France? Starting from 67 million people before the fall. I speculate current French populace of fewer than 200,000. He talk a lot, don't he? I was going to say way less. He don't shut up. Much like less. He remind me of that Perhaps girl that always talked to him. Oh, about. he talking about, oh. He talk How's about my stomach? Mo. Just thinking about it. Yeah. Mo wouldn't shut up either. Yeah, the mask sucks. <laughs> Do you have children, monsieur? A wife? I have a dog. Parents? Just a dog. No, nothing like that. But you're homesick. I see in your eyes. What are you, shrink? I feel things <laughs> in my stomach. I feel your sense. Not to despair, Mr. Dyke. But you deserve a happy ending, too. Ah. Daryl? Yeah. You deserve a happy ending, too. It means bad. Hey, that's that old bastard right there, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Is that an old bastard? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's him and that snitch. Who the hell is that? I don't know. But it looks like trouble. I don't know. I don't know who the hell is it? Batista? That's him. Trying to get to that radio. Sur la montagne des Montes, sur la mer, sur les bateaux. This is Pergeon. We are waiting for him to rise again. What the hell? Wait for who to rise? Are those people crazy? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> He already rose. Oh, 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 oh. You got a lot of witchy shit going on around here. Dead priest in the closet and a creepy kid. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Where is the You're the messenger. The messenger? To deliver Laurent. Oh, these some crazy Did bad people. This? I know it's too good to be true. Before you came. I have no idea what you're talking about. Our leader is a Buddhist monk. He came through on a pilgrimage some years ago. He recognized something in law, an answer to a prophecy. Man, what is he talking about? He knew as a base of north, a community that will raise and nurture him to be who he was born to be. They think Daryl's a savior. Six months ago, La Marin pushed that it was time. Bergeon was supposed to escort him, but... What you saw? Yeah. yeah, they did. He got him locked up, thinking the prayers and poetry are going to fix him. The whole is special. I think you see that. Do I? His mother died in childbirth. He shouldn't have survived that. It's a miracle he's even alive. Can I borrow this? He's showing <laughs> beauties, perceptions, is that morning star? beyond any child. He sees into people. We used to have a kid like that in grade school. He used to get his ass kicked a lot. We'll borrow this too. He needs right? teaching. <laughs> Guidance we cannot provide. He'll be safer there, nurtured. Until he's ready. Ready for what? To be the new Messiah. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I told you. Lead the revival of humanity. They think he's the the Christ. Bishan. That's why they killed that old man. Bishan. Oh, that was his brother. That other dude. He don't turn. 
Oh, he gonna be pissed. Yeah, he got a tattoo like Mike Tyson. He like the white Mike Tyson. <laughs> this reminds me of Daryl and Merle, remember? When he had to put Merle down. So that was his brother. <laughs> she do remind me of Connie. Once she said that. You safe, you got lucky. He's lonely. He's grown up with no friends, no father figure. He needs other Darryl, children to protect himself. They're looking for you. Staying alive is more important. You want Daryl be his daddy? Yeah. He's got a greater destiny uh, than just surviving. They may be in trouble if Daryl leave him there, because I'm back. What does he think about your plan, huh? Au revoir, Monsieur Dyle. Nous nous reverrons. That means we shall meet again. He doesn't know about any of it. He's young. It's too much to put on him. I've already made plans. I ain't looking to make any more. You want to get back to his family? Yeah, I do. He gonna have to go back. That's what's gonna happen. He gonna turn around. Cause he gonna hear them screaming. He gonna start torching those nuns and Daryl gonna go back and help. <laughs> we are looking for the American. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Yeah. They got weapons. Okay, I remember they got weapons. Them nuns probably know how to scrap. Look, I told you. Hey, bro, yo, yo. Yes, sir. Them, hey, there's some killer guns. Boy, you too stu stupid to do what your coach tells you. <laughs> Somebody should have stayed in there with him and kept him quiet. Just tell him the dog on let you on lock the door when they went out. Well, you didn't do it. Somebody should have stayed in there with him. He just not locked it. You can't get in, sir. Go hide somewhere. I mean, worse than the damn wall. Wow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what? 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 They ready to get down. Oh, shit. Come on. Cut him, cut him. Got all the way. Hey, them nuns got some heart. Yeah. There's two of them. Two of them. Come on. There's two of them. Man, that's a lot of people died. Yeah, but he gonna go get more help, though. 
over. Yeah, them nuns had some heart. They didn't die like no cowards, you know? Why they open the door. Now, Daryl gonna feel bad about leaving now, you know? He gonna feel bad. Why did they open the door? And Daryl gonna... He gonna stay and help these people. What the hell? God! <laughs> I love that gun. Break all the that was dangerous now. Yeah, it must be cold over there. We're never lost, Uka. I guess that's their way of coping, because I wouldn't be in the mood for this shit. What? He telling the story now. I ran into some bad people. They put me on a boat. Oh. Okay, okay. That didn't go well. And I washed the shore here. And I ran into a nun. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm gonna take you where you need to go. Where are you gonna go? Take that border to that Messiah. Where are you going? That's that. Yeah, he's gonna be trouble. My father fished these waters. Small troller. He got for days at a time. And no matter how hard things got, he knew one thing. He said, it, it didn't go well. Crew is only as good as their captain. Vous faites un topo? La plupart de nos expériences sont détruites. Certains sujets sont peut-être encore utilisables. I don't know who the hell these people are. All men have us cut up because of what? One American? Oh, they is talking about Daryl. We didn't manage to stop Martini. Did you? Congratulations. And the man? Who was he? It was named uh, Dixon. Dick. Yep. Dixon. Yep. That's the people that did it. She n'est pas mort trouvé le moi. Yeah, they the one had Daryl tied to Okay, you two, that was Daryl Dixon, the first episode. I was not disappointed. Uh, it's different, much different. I mean, not the walkers. Well, the walkers are different. It's just the scenery, the atmosphere, the chemistry. Everything's different from the regular Walking Dead universe because we was always in the woods and, you know, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Now we in Paris and it's, yeah. it's trying to get used to everybody's accent and talking and all that even with the subtitles you kind of confuse it what's going on so you're saying the messiah wasn't daryl it was the no, little boy yeah okay because like, i thought they was wanting daryl to be their their master their guy so they holding the little boy because they think the little boy is gonna gonna be their their messiah yeah. no they wanted huh? daryl to be the little boy's guide to yeah. guide him yeah. to where he needs to get to okay they wanted daryl to guide the little boy yeah. Because he had, he don't have a father figure and all women. Yeah, and they wanted him to guide him. Remember that map that, that she showed him? Yeah. On that road? That's the road that they wanted him. They wanted Daryl to guide the little boy to where he needed to get to. Because she said it was a treacherous it was a treacherous road. Okay. Alright. The nuns, I thought there was gonna be some cowards, okay? No, no that was some But they are with it. So okay, they, they, they are with it. They went out straight with straight but they came at it. They ain't, hey, them nuns were no punks. Yeah, okay, you them nuns that? was with it. They was with all the smoke. Yeah. All right, I so I love them. that. The mothers told him, told Daryl when he got there, he seen all the weapons. They was defend for them to defend themselves. Yeah, I mean, they, they had all those weapons, so they've been training, think, right? So you know, I didn't think they was gonna fight yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They came to it, boy. When they came in the game, he should have. He should have popped Mike Tyson then. Yeah, he should have shot him right then. Soon as he, soon as Daryl seen about that tree, he should have been popping him. You know what I'm saying? Well, they come to harm that boy. And if they were gonna harm that boy, they had to get, they had to do something about that. They were gonna let that happen. So they had that one guy in the dungeon that was the uh, 
the the priest, right? They said he was a father. The father, and they wait for him to rise rise up. Yeah, right. yeah he was a he was a he must have been the father of the church. Yeah, priest. so they had me all thrown off. Like, what is y'all talking about? Like, yeah. what do you mean you wait for him to rise up? Well, they <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> they just put him in there and locked yeah. him down. Yeah, so you, you got to understand our mindset is in the U.S. Okay, yeah. so where they're at. It's a whole different ball game. That's a different time frame. Okay, they in a whole nother ball game. We still set on the Walking Dead in the U.S. Okay, yeah. so where they're at, they they dealing with a whole nother type of, you know, walkers and how they think. You know, like that acid walker. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, they, if he hadn't ran into that lady, he would never got his own dog on cured. Yeah, so they got acid walkers out there. Yeah, yeah. I feel- you know, Daryl had to and look at him that, again when he killed him. That, he had to look at him twice to see what, that, what was wrong man, with him because he didn't know why he got stuff all over his Like he was blind. Yeah, the old man that played like he was blind. That he he got Lucille, yeah, so he didn't that. last long. Yeah. You know, I thought he was gonna last a while. Just going around playing like he's blind and yeah. robbing people. Yeah, he, he kept talking. What happened to that little girl that was with him? Oh, no, she did she die? No, they took her to the church. Remember, they got is she she with them? Yeah. She was with, they, well, when they knocked the old man out, she got in, she was told to get in the car. Yeah, she was with Batista, Mike Tyson. Yeah, she was told to get yeah, in the car. Yeah, though, she right. had to show them where that church was at. I'm saying, is she with down them now? Nah. Yeah. No. She was in the church, though. She was in the church. She was in the church. When they when they got out to go to the church, she was already in the car. So when they, when they got out to go in the church, she was in the church with them. But I don't know where she took off in Okay, the but yet. she's not with Daryl now. No. Okay. All right. So y'all like this? Yeah, it's yeah. Huh? It's, it's different. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Do y'all think they're gonna make it back to the group? I want to see Rick. Um, yeah, eventually. Let I, me I, say it like this: I Do y'all think he, Daryl's gonna make it back to see Rick? I think he is. Yeah. Yeah. Because I they think, are not gonna leave Daryl out of Rick. No, no, Darryl, episode. Okay. Daryl gonna make it back. He's just gonna have to kill a lot of people to do it. I just don't. I just don't see that. I don't see them knowing Daryl's out here and. And Morgan's out here, and they're gonna leave Daryl out. It's no way. No, I think Daryl, they're gonna have one big Walking Dead reunion. That's what I think. Yeah. They're gonna know. They're gonna, like I said, he's gonna, he gonna make his way back if he got to kill a lot of people to do it. But this show is real good now, but when Carl show up, it's gonna be on fire. You know, Daryl, Daryl ain't gonna go out just like that. Daryl. Okay, y'all, that was Daryl Dixon, The Walking Dead. Pretty good. Nice episode. Um, I mean, they had a lot in one episode. A yeah, lot. I, it whooped ass on this one. Bro. A lot one in one ass. episode. There's a lot of ass whooping on this one. How Daryl stayed in the ocean that long and didn't get bit that's by uh, that's me. A, a, a jellyfish. That mole was tied to that dog. A shark. Or tied to something. <laughs> Moby Dick didn't swallow him. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, damn, he, got, <laughs> he, he got off that boat and walked onto the land, though. Yeah, dog, he stayed in that water a long time. It, it's crazy. All the way to Paris. You know how long that is? Yeah. And those crazy ass people are the ones who tied him up to it. Now they want him dead. Crazy. But we're going to charge it to the game, all right? We don't need to figure out how he got there. We're going to just charge it to TV, all right? Okay, y'all. That was Daryl Dixon, The Walking Dead. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Great start. Love y'all. Subscribe to the underdogs. Love y'all. All right. We out of here. Woo. Come on. Why don't you just piss in my ear and tell me it's raining, too? That there's a sound of a couple coons making love, sweet love. You know what I mean? It doesn't get easier the further I run. It gets harder to carry the weight of what I've done. I am speaking from experience. I don't want to run, run. Seems to me a man can do a lot of thinking When he's staring down the barrel of a gun And the devil sat inside set on me Since the day that I took sides with the sun
promised you were coming with me. I know. This is going to be good for you, for me.